They've destroyed all our farm produce. What do we do now together with our children and the next generation? All we are saying is that they should sell the entire community to the developers because we are tired now. These aggrieved residents of Ashayim, cladded in red and black, are up in arms with the Nkranda Traditional Council for allegedly selling their farmlands to unknown investors, thereby putting them out of business. The affected group, who are mainly farmers, say their crops are currently being destroyed by these developers without prior notice and compensation. Nanai J. Poku is the decrew of the community. <laughs> We visited the Nkranza traditional council after we were told about the sales of the lands and we were driven away. At least between 200 and 300 farmers have been affected and we opposed these sales because we can't leave this community and that is why we are calling on you to come to our aid. These farmers whose lives, including supporting their children's education, solely depend on what they earn from their farms say the situation, if not addressed, would mean they will have to stay unemployed, a situation that would compound to their economic hardships. We are pleading the chiefs and government, including MPs and MCE, that they should help us. Uh, women and children in Atashem here, we are suffering from that matter because it's farming that we are doing to take care of our children. But if they collect the land, where will we go? All the land surrounding us, they have collected it. So we are pleading. They should collect the land for us so that we also take care of our children. We took the paint to visit some of the affected farms and we met these excavators clearing the lands as narrated by these aggrieved farmers. I came to meet the excavator destroying my farm and some of the workers taking advantage to take my yams and cassava. I have five children now. What are we going to feed on from now onwards? So we are appealing to government to intervene before we die of hunger. These aggrieved group have a common play. They call on regional authorities and government to intervene in order to save the situation. Bismarck J. Poku is the chairman of the group. This has been our only source of livelihoods and so we won't allow anyone to claim this land. We are tired now, and so we are calling on the ghost for land to deal with anyone who will lawfully destroy our farm produce. Reporting for Joy News, Anas Sabit, Asheim.